welcome to Render Fiction. I'm going to teach you how to create expressive characters in Blender like these. My name is John. I started modeling and animating characters in Blender about one year ago. We will begin with some 3D assets I created as a base mesh for all my characters. In this tutorial, we will create a simple armature and add a limit location bone constraint. Then we will use those bones to create shape key drivers to easily control facial expressions. Let's get started. We're going to create a simple armature with three bones stacked vertically in the Z direction. Spacing doesn't really matter. You can just eyeball it like I did here. Set the parent to an empty by selecting object, keep transform. Reselect the armature and open pose mode. Select the top bone and in your bone constraints, choose add bone constraint, limit location. Check everything off, including effect transform, and then set the owner to local space. I'm setting minimum X to negative 2.5 and maximum X to 2.5. Depending on your orientation, you may need to use a different axis. Now, when you move your bone, it should be locked in all directions, except for the axis that you have selected. As you can see, the bone moves along the X axis in local space, and it cannot travel below negative 2.5 or beyond positive 2.5. You can repeat this process for each bone. Then add some labels and set parent to the empty as well so that everything can move in one unit. I like to add indicator circles to the bones to make tracking their location easier. So I am adding the circles, filling the mesh, and adding a white emission color to enhance the contrast with the black background. All right, let's move everything into place and start working on my favorite part, shape key animation. Select the armature, pose mode, and move the first bone into place, positive 2.5. Exit pose mode and select the face mesh. Navigate to object data properties and in the shape key section, select the plus icon to add a shape key. The first one to appear will always be basis. Do not modify the basis because it sets a rest position. So if you make a mistake later on, you can always reset back to basis. I will demonstrate this by creating another shape key and intentionally making a mistake. Okay, cool, deleting that. Create a new shape key and rename it. Right click the number and select add driver. Within the menu, the object box is highlighted in red. Select the eyedropper tool from that box and select the armature. Right click the shape key number again and select edit driver. The object box has been filled with your armature. Now you need to select a bone. In this case, I chose the first bone because that is the one that I am working on. I've done this a bunch of times, so I know what the expression should be. And in this case, it's var times 0.4. At the bottom of the menu, make sure that the type is set to X location. This may be different for you depending on your orientation. Then select local space. Now select the face mesh and then select sculpt mode and sculpt your character however you like. I want the character's mouth to be open, so I'm going to work on that. The face mesh looks good. Now, return to object mode and right click the shape key number. Select copy driver, because I'm going to apply that driver to the lower teeth and tongue. Set up the shape key basis and an additional shape key, just like we did before. However, this time we can paste the driver and avoid having to configure the menu. Then we can test out the shape key animation. Now, I want to animate the mouth closing, so I am going to create another shape key for the face mesh. Fortunately, I can paste my copy driver again, because the open and close animations are tied to the same bone, but there's a catch. You have to adjust the expression from var times 0.4 to negative var times 0.4, because we will be moving the bone into the lower bound of its limit location. If you found value from this video, please subscribe and hit the like button. The rest of the video will be a time lapse because we covered all of the core principles for shape key animation. If you have any questions, drop a comment below or reach out to me on X at Render Fiction.